The telescope building process is a fun activity for anyone that is interested in astronomy or wants to expand their horizons in science. The main things you'll need to know are what kind of telescope you're building, how each kind of telescope works, and how the lenses work. The telescope we will be constructing in this video is a refraction telescope. The term refraction means the bending of light. This telescope will use two convex or outward bending lenses to bend and magnify the light that comes into the telescope. Convex lenses work by focusing the light to a certain point a specific distance from the lens. This distance is called the focal length and is usually measured in millimeters. The other type of lens, concave lenses, bend light by scattering it in several different directions rather than focusing it to a single point. The other type of telescope is called the reflecting telescope. This build uses one or more mirrors to reflect and bend light in order to magnify it. In our case, however, we will be making a refracting telescope. For this build, you will need two PVC pipes of different diameters, a connector for the PVC pipes, two different sized lenses. I was able to find this three inch, 100 millimeter focal length lens off of Amazon, and my smaller lens could also be found on Amazon. It is a 1.25 inch, 10 millimeter focal length plossal lens. And you can see, this is what it looks like. And here's what my other lens looks like. Manila file folders that you could see I've already used a little bit, hot glue and regular glue, a box cutter or scissors, and potentially a small hand saw used to cut the PVC pipes. In this build, the PVC pipes will act as a body of the telescope. Here, we will use the connector to create a sliding mechanism that many refracting telescopes have later on. In my situation, the PVC pipes were just too big for my lenses. You could see here that if I were to place my lens in here, there's just a little bit of space around the outside, and so if I were to place the lens in here, it would fall right through. To solve for this problem, take your PVC pipe and place it on the manila file folder, like so. Then, carefully outline the pipe with a pencil. So you could just leave it there and very, very carefully outline it like so. And now you can see we have the outline. And as can be seen, when I place the lens in between, or in the middle of this outline, um, there's a lot of room on the outside. So now we are going to So now you have that, and this isn't perfect. Um, this is just kind of a rough draft. Once you have your two outlines, take the box cutter and cut out the inside circle first. As can be see, seen here. Um, and then cut out the outside circle. So now we have one ring that we could use to place our lens inside so that it won't fall. And then we place this on the PVC pipe and it may slide and that's why we're gonna glue it down, but this is the starting uh, point for this. I would recommend making the inner circles cut just a tiny bit smaller than the outline so that the lens sits on the paper rather than falling through. One manila ring won't be enough, so repeat this process two or three more times depending on the size of your lens. Looking at my final uh, manila ring structure, I guess, um, you could see that I have two manila rings here. And it's a little hard to see here, but uh, there are three manila rings here for the bigger lens because it weighs a little more and it would be easier to fall through. Once you have the proper amount of manila rings, uh, glue them together and then we will glue them onto the PVC pipe. And now you are going to let this dry so that it stays on. As you can see, I have already done the manila rings for the uh, larger lens and the larger PVC pipe. And now we're just gonna finish gluing it on.
Now, before the lenses are glued into their manila rings, make sure that they are clean enough to create a good viewing experience when the time is right. Now, hot glue the lenses onto the rings and make sure that the lenses are in well enough to stay on their own. Finally, depending on the focal lengths of your lenses, you may have to cut your pipes down according to size or all you will see through your telescopes will be a big blur. I had to cut mine down a lot in order to see properly through mine. If the size difference between your pipes is too much, carefully make a hot glue ring around the inside of your connector to make a snug sliding mechanism for your two body pieces. And you could see that when I put the smaller one in here, it doesn't really move around. Um, it's, a, it's pretty snug, so when I, when I want to move it in and out, it's not like loosely moving around. With this, your telescope should be complete. You may have to tweak the body lengths of the pipes more as you use the telescope, but with this tutorial, you should now have a fully functional refracting telescope.